Collocation in English refers to the habitual juxtaposition of a particular word with another word or words in a way that tends to occur frequently and naturally. It's about the way certain words tend to go together. Imagine words as friends. Some words are best friends and like to hang out together a lot. For example, we say strong coffee, but not powerful coffee, even though both strong and powerful can describe something with a lot of strength. The reason we say strong coffee is that strong and coffee have formed a collocation and they just sound right together. Collocations are important for sounding natural and fluent in a language because native speakers use them without even thinking about it. Learning collocations can help you choose the right words that naturally go together, making your English sound more authentic. Collocations with get. Get a call. Every morning, I get a call from my mom to make sure I'm awake and ready for the day. Last night, I got a call from my friend inviting me to join them for a movie this weekend. Get a joke. I love starting my day with a good laugh, so I always make sure to get a joke from a comedy podcast during my morning routine. At lunchtime, my coworker shared a hilarious meme, and I couldn't stop smiling. Sometimes, it's nice to get a joke in the middle of the workday. Get a ticket. Unfortunately, I got a ticket for parking in the wrong spot, and now I have to pay the fine. My friend and I were lucky today, we didn't get a ticket despite overstaying our welcome at the coffee shop. Get a letter. It's always exciting to get a letter from a pen pal, it brings a personal touch to communication. Yesterday, I got a letter from my grandmother, and her words of wisdom always brighten my day. Get a cold. Despite my best efforts to stay warm, I managed to get a cold after getting caught in the rain. My colleague has been sneezing all week, and I'm worried I might get a cold too if I'm not careful. Get a shock. When I touched the metal doorknob, I got a shock from static electricity. I got a shock when I saw my phone bill. Get dark. In the evening, the sky began to get dark, signaling the approach of night. During the storm, the power went out, and the entire neighborhood got dark. Get a clue. After hours of solving the puzzle, I finally got a clue that led me to the solution. Watching detective shows always helps me get a clue about how to approach solving mysteries. Get a tan. During my vacation at the beach, I made sure to get a tan by spending long hours under the sun. Gardening in the backyard, I unintentionally got a tan on my arms and face. Get a job. I need to get a job to support myself financially. Networking events are great opportunities to get a job by connecting with potential employers. Get out of breath. Climbing the steep mountain trail always makes me get out of breath, but the view from the top is worth it. Running for a long distance makes me get out of breath quickly. Get drunk. At the celebration, I accidentally got drunk on the strong punch they were serving. It's important to know your limits and avoid getting drunk at social events. Get started. To be productive, I find it helpful to get started on my most challenging task first thing in the morning. Before the meeting, we need to get started on preparing the presentation slides. Get fired. Unfortunately, I got fired from my job due to company restructuring. The employee who constantly missed deadlines eventually had to get fired. Get cool. As the evening breeze set in, the temperature started to get cool, making it perfect for a walk. Turning on the air conditioner helped the room get cool on a hot summer day. Get pregnant. After years of trying, my sister and her husband were thrilled to finally get pregnant. 
The couple decided to wait a few years before trying to get pregnant and start a family. Get hungry. The aroma from the kitchen made me get hungry, and I couldn't wait for dinner. Skipping breakfast always makes me get hungry by mid-morning. Get one's hair cut. Every month, I schedule a visit to the salon to get my hair cut and styled. Before the big event, I wanted to freshen up my appearance, so I decided to get my hair cut. Get together. On weekends, my friends and I often get together for a game night or movie marathon. Family gatherings are the perfect occasions to get together and share stories. Get it right. I need to get it right the first time. Can you please explain the instructions again? I want to make sure I get it right. Get dressed. Before leaving the house, I take my time to get dressed and choose the right outfit for the day. Rushing to get dressed in the morning often leads to mismatched socks and forgotten accessories. Get upset. Hearing about the unfair treatment made me get upset, and I couldn't shake off the frustration. It's okay to get upset about certain situations, but finding healthy ways to cope is essential. Get divorced. After years of struggling, my parents decided to get divorced and pursue separate paths. Seeking professional advice can sometimes help couples find alternatives to getting divorced. Get changed. After the gym session, I headed to the locker room to get changed into comfortable clothes. Before the party, I went home to get changed into a more festive outfit. Get ready for. This weekend, I need to get ready for the upcoming job interview by researching the company and practicing my answers. Before the guests arrived, we had to get ready for the dinner party by setting the table and preparing the meal. Get the impression. When I spoke to him, I couldn't help but get the impression that he was hiding something. Despite the challenges, I got the impression that everyone was determined to succeed. Get into trouble. As a teenager, I often got into trouble for staying out past curfew. Ignoring warnings can lead to getting into trouble, so it's essential to follow guidelines. Get wet. Caught in the unexpected rain, I got wet and had to seek shelter to avoid getting soaked. Playing in the garden after the sprinklers turned on, the children got wet and laughed uncontrollably. Get good. With consistent practice, I managed to get good at playing the guitar. Patience is key when trying to get good at a new skill or hobby. Get worried. Whenever I don't receive a response, I tend to get worried that something might be wrong. It's normal to get worried about loved ones, especially when they are facing challenges. Get a chance. Despite the initial rejection, I didn't give up and eventually got a chance to showcase my skills to the hiring manager. I hope you get a chance to visit the new museum downtown. Get lost. Exploring the unfamiliar city, I managed to get lost, but discovered hidden gems along the way. Without a map, it's easy to get lost in the maze-like streets of the historic district. Get permission. Before borrowing my sister's car, I made sure to get permission and let her know the purpose. Getting permission before making significant decisions is a sign of respect and responsibility. Get stuck. While hiking, I accidentally got stuck between rocks and needed assistance to get free. It's frustrating to get stuck in traffic when you have important appointments. Get a degree. After years of hard work, I finally got a degree in psychology and am excited to start my career. Higher education provides the opportunity to get a degree and expand one's knowledge in a specific field. Get to sleep. Creating a bedtime routine helps me relax and get to sleep more easily. After a busy day, it can be challenging to get to sleep without winding down first. Get home. 
After a long day at work, I can't wait to get home, put my feet up, and relax. Making it a habit to get home early allows me to spend quality time with my family. Get married. Last weekend, my childhood friend got married, and it was a beautiful ceremony filled with love and joy. Planning for the future, the couple decided to get married in a small, intimate ceremony. Get nowhere. Arguing with stubborn individuals often leads to frustration and gets nowhere. Procrastination is a habit that can make you feel stuck and get nowhere in achieving your goals.